This is Maya. She's an orange-breasted falcon and one of the rarest falcons in the world. There are less than 50 of her kind in Belize, although we have the largest population in both Central and South America. Maya was bred in the US with hopes of being released, but she has a cataract and she's a bit small to hold a territory. Still, her story is far from tragic. And today she's a career girl working at the Belize Raptor Center, connecting with kids and teaching them about birds of prey. But Maya isn't the only resident of the Belize Raptor Center. She has some very interesting foster siblings. There's Rogue, the roadside hawk. He's a classic case of slash and burn or milpa, and his tree got burnt. And some kids came across him, took him home. Similar situation like most people who would try to help something out. But they, the, pro, the, the process that they took, it was an uneducated process where they place him under a heat lamp, but it wasn't the right type of heat lamp, lamp. And trying to put him back after um, we received him was proven to be a big issue because his, his parents were not interested in him anymore. Now the psychological aspect of him is, is not that of a wild bird because he had been tampered with by humans at an early age by the kids. And it is definitely something to aware the public about. Handling wildlife at the end of the day can be um, psychologically damaging. So his issue is his psychological damage and the fact that his parent didn't want to accept him back. So now he's he passed all the training that he needed to pass to make him qualify as an ambassador. And he's, he's shining at it like a boss. Another ambassador shining at the center is ornate hawk Athena. Athena was shot while preparing to nest and endured some particularly cruel human treatment. But she's lived to tell the tale. She was shot in tea kettle um, back in the village. Um, the man who shot her said that she was eating his chickens. Um, the man from the zoo, Berto, we work a lot with the zoo. Berto's actually stopped at one of the Chinese stores there and he saw a big crowd outside. And when he went over to investigate, the man had her hogtied blood everywhere. And he was, you know, bragging to the village about how he'd finally caught the chicken eater. Uh, the saddest part about this um, is she actually had a brood patch, which means that she was either about to nest or she was already sitting on eggs. So by shooting that one bird, you've taken out the female, as well as all of her future generations. Um, it's just funny because Bertha's like, yeah, the guy ran and I ran after him. And I'm like, no, you're not leaving with that eagle. <laughs> and while some human interactions with raptors may not be deliberate, they can still cause lasting damage. Take the case of this little black falcon, affectionately dubbed Jamin. He's unable to be released because he thinks he's part of the human flock. Jamming got poached at a very early age. Um, some kids decided that is a cute little thing to take home. But again, um, not being educated, they fed him the wrong diet, which led to him having um, a mild case of metabolic bone disease, which showed straight to his beak because now his beak is slightly... Um, it's very soft and he doesn't even have the tomio tooth like falcons supposed to do. But the main major reason that really m made it difficult for him to go back into the wild would be that he's a hard imprint, meaning that he had extreme human um, interaction at a very delicate age when they were when he is supposed to be developing the idea of what he is. Ultimately, the Raptor Center is a place of rehabilitation for birds like Rogue and Jamin, but it's also a place of education and empathy, where kids can come to shed stereotypes about less understood bird species. Birds like Cora the vulture, who, when you get to know her, is really quite sweet. So Cora came to us three years ago. Um, she was, uh, we believe, an orphaned vulture. Um, the parents were not seen coming back to the cavity. Uh, they nest in thickets and cavities of trees. Uh, so we went out and sure enough, they were really thin, uh, very dehydrated. So we brought them back. Uh, they definitely knew they were vultures. Uh, I was covered in vomit during the rescue. <laughs> Fun stuff, John Crow, that's his only defense mechanism. Um, but they're social creatures, so they need a, a family group to belong to. It's really hard to rehab a young black vulture and release it, uh, especially if you don't know where the family group is. Uh, they're very strong family knitted. 
Um, so she has become a massive ambassador for us. A lot of people um, don't really like vultures, right? I hear a lot of kids, John Crow, gross. He's gross. You know, he's dirty. He carries disease. And that's absolutely not the case. Uh, they clean up the earth for us. Without them, we'd all be overridden with disease. Um, Cora can eat Ebola, botulism, and she can break it down in her stomach and not pass it on. Super important. One of the most important birds I believe we have in Belize. And in my personal opinion, they're some of the prettiest. As for Maya, her cataracts are the one thing that will never allow for her re-release. And while she'll never soar through a territory of her own, her presence and work at the Raptor Center will hopefully bring about the kind of public awareness that will guarantee those freedoms for others like her. So with Maya, because we're lucky with her cataracts, Maya has actually never seen before. So she's had cataracts since she was young. Um, so she relies on trust. Uh, so basically, Everything that happens on the glove with her, right, when we're working with her, when we're introducing her to other people, she feels safe because she trusts her handler. So her relationship with us is just built purely on trust and vocalization. Um, she knows basic commands. Um, she, Her enrichment is ripping apart her own food. Uh, she, you know, with cataracts, you can't, uh, she doesn't see well enough to fly. Um, so her enrichment is going outside on walks, you know, meeting people. And she's too small. Sherry's Halto, 7 News.